55 years ago today, President John F. Kennedy was assassinated in Dallas, Texas. And the reporter for Life magazine, who was able to get the famous Zapruder film of the tragic killing, is now here in New Mexico and lives to tell his story. News 13's Rebecca Atkins sat down with him. For the crowd was beginning to gather in Daly Plaza. For most of the residents at Brookdale Senior Living in Santa Fe, this is just a documentary. But for one man in the room... America wept in a way that you cannot possibly imagine. This is more than just a movie. I knew I wanted to be a journalist when I was very young, 12 years old. Richard Stolle has told many stories, but it's his coverage of the assassination of President John F. Kennedy he still tells to this day. In many ways, it was just another story, the biggest story of my life. In 1963, Stolle was a reporter for Life magazine and was flown from L.A. to Dallas to cover the assassination. When people find out, as they often do, that I was involved in it, then they say, tell me the story. He tracked down and got all rights to the famous Zapruder film, the only footage that actually captured the shot that killed President Kennedy. He saw through that tiny rangefinder exactly all his faculties focused on what had happened. Of all the reporters pounding on his door, Abraham Zapruder gave all rights to his film to Stolle for a whopping $150. I wasn't going to leave without it. Now 90 years old, Stolle still writes stories. And even though the assassination of President Kenny is the darkest he's helped tell, it's one he never gets tired of sharing. I mean, the fascination in America and the world, for that matter, about Jack Kennedy and the way he died after 55 years still seems to be intense. Rebecca Atkins, KRQE, News 13. Stolly moved from New Mexico, from New York to New Mexico, and currently lives at Brookdale. He says the last story he wrote was for his local paper.